Hello there. So with the Snyder Cut just being released a couple days ago, wherever you are in the world, I mean, I'm here in Australia, just came out on Thursday night, uh, a few days ago. Um, I just want to give my quick thoughts and opinions on where I think the Snyder or DC Extended Universe should go uh, following the Snyder Cut, depending on how well it does as well. I'm really hoping the fans really drove this film to do as well as it should have, because um, I gave my thoughts in my review um, a few days ago, and I really enjoyed the Snyder Cut. So let's get right into my thoughts, and right before I get into that, what's going on guys? It's Ellie Moses. I'm a 21-year-old law and film student here in Sydney, Australia, trying to make my way on the YouTube universe. So hopefully you guys can come along, join my crew, my fellow pirates, as we make our way through the YouTube galaxy and examine some Marvel, uh, Star Wars, pop culture content, whatever. So hopefully we can grab some few strays along from different planets and subscribe to the channel and let's grow our community because we've got an amazing community here. So my quick thoughts on the Snyder Cut. Um, I watched it in one go with a massive DC friend. <laughs> um, watched it in one go on Thursday night and I gave my thoughts in my review. But just a quick rundown. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Um, I don't think it's a masterpiece as some people are saying it was. But I really had a great time with it. And I do believe that if this film did come out in 2017... Um, when it should have, um, unfortunately, due to the unfortunate events that happened with Zack Snyder's family, I do think he would have somewhat caught up to Marvel with this four-hour epic if he released it as a four-hour film. Because obviously, this film was meant to be um, a long extended film. However, that four-hour epic or film was cut down to a two-hour version, which was choppy. Um, so many scenes were missing. But in this film, I thought it was a much better improvement from the Whedon cut. Whether that was a high bar to beat, it was not at all. It was a really low bar to beat. But I did thoroughly enjoy it. In fact, I was conversing with a few friends the other day or last night. Um, and some were saying it was better than Endgame. It was better than all of Marvel, one person said. I'm just like, hold on a second. It's not that good of a masterpiece. But I do stand up and say it possibly is better than Endgame. An argument can be made for that. However, there are still some issues in the film. Some of the writing is a bit dodgy here and there. There's a few plot holes that remain, in particular with Darkseid. Like, there's one question I had in um, regarding the anti-life equation and how it's like a revelation to Steppenwolf how he found the anti-life equation on Earth. But wouldn't Darkseid know it was on Earth because of that flashback sequence? Like, that's the planet he fought all the Amazonians. Um the the atlanteans on like wouldn't he know it's on earth and he's just he's just gearing up his army to come back and gathering obviously his armies from the other worlds so wouldn't he know it's on earth like why does steppenwolf need to tell the sad that's just one of the few plot holes i had um there's a few weird lines of dialogue at the beginning of film as well involving the wonder woman scene um involving like just what the terrorists say in terms of we're trying to set europe back a thousand years how by bombing blowing up four city blocks i mean there's natural disasters or natural events that have occurred tragically in the world that have done worse than that so i'm not sure what the motives of the villains were there but i do feel that the snyder cut was a much more coherent story obviously there's so much explanation and context uh, context to particular scenes um the the flashback sequence involving like zeus um defeating dark side and all the amazonians that felt like lord of the rings epic type i want to see a whole prequel film on that i said but that's just my quick thoughts on the film now where i want to see the dc universe go after this um zack snyder has come out and said that his film is not canon and depending on how well this film does i believe that maybe warner brothers may change their view on that in terms of in terms of um establishing zack snyder's dc uh, EU as canon and I do believe that this film is going to do really well I mean the f the reviews are raving from the fans especially I know fans are loving it they've got what they've got they've got what they wanted out of it and I would love to see the Zack Snyder DCEU continue because I think this film sets up the potential for so much more not not, not just the Justice League 2 which I really want to see Zack Snyder's Justice League 2 depiction in terms of like that sort of post-apocalyptic world i love that setting i would love i love for it to go down that route but you could also make a prequel film on the previous war that was set in the ages um i would love to see that i want to see more of zeus because he looked like such a beast 
Um, some people were tweeting on Twitter, yes, it's for instance, you could finally get Ben Affleck's Batman, you could get like a Deathstroke series, you could get a Jared Leto Joker series, you can finally get the Flash and Cyborg films, you can get a Wonder Woman 3, and finally, um, after the abomination, in my opinion, that was Wonder Woman 1984, what they did to her character, she's finally restored in this film, it's the old Wonder Woman, it's finally great to see Diana back in action, and then they have the amazing Wonder Woman theme play, and it's just badass when she's kicking ass. Um, you can set up a Man of Steel 2, and then obviously you can maybe set up a Martian Manhunter miniseries, or get him involved in Justice League 2. There's so much you can do. There's endless possibilities you can do after the Snyder Cut. And then maybe we can get, for instance, a possibility of David Ayer's Suicide Squad after the movement of this. I mean, if you go back a couple of years ago, the Snyder Cut was sort of like myth or legend. Like, no one knew it sort of existed. It was something... It was like the One Ring in Lord of the Rings. Like, its its existence was there. They knew about it, but it didn't come to fruition. No one really knew what happened to it. And then finally, we get his vision. And I'm I'm happy to see Zack Snyder's vision. I was thoroughly pleased with it. I have my issues with it. As I said before, it's not a masterpiece. But I would like the DCEU to continue with Zack Snyder's uh, vision of the DC Extended Universe. And I hope Warner Brothers... Um, go back on their comments when they say um, they're not going to give Zack the film unless he makes it non-canon. It's just his vision. I hope, I'm hoping they do make it canon because it was, it was a major improvement. I know some people, this film is really divisive. I know some people are really not enjoying it. Um, some people thought it was just a glorified extended cut. Didn't add much. It was just an hour 40 of extended footage of the same film. And I'm just called, the film is still the same sort of plot, but I feel like some of the scenes were just more epic in scale, and uh, there was much more context given to certain characters, which I enjoyed. But yeah, to those people not liking it, completely respect your opinion. And there's been some valid points going around, which I've conceded to the film, and I'm happy to debate and discuss. But yeah, other than that, guys, uh, that's where I'd like to see the Snyder Cut go. Those TV shows, or miniseries, or prequel films. There's so much they could do. There's so much they could set up. I'm hopefully, I'm hoping they do decide to make it canon and let Zack Snyder have free reign over this and to do what he wants. Because I, I already know they restricted him in terms of adding a Green Lantern character in the film. They didn't allow it. So hopefully they Warner Brothers acknowledges how well this film has done. I'm not sure about the numbers. I'm not so sure how well it's doing. But based on the ratings and fan reception, it's overwhelmingly positive. Yes, it's a bit divisive. There's some that are not liking it at all and some that are not pleased with it. And that's all due respect. Fair enough to them. I enjoyed it. But I have my faults with it as well. I acknowledge that. But I'm excited to see, hopefully, how Warner Brothers responds to this and seeing the success of this film. Whether it's successful or not, we do not know yet. We don't know how many people signed up to HBO Max or here in Australia. How many people signed up to Binge. Because there was issues with leaks of the film as well. Um, I know some people were able to access it on the high seas um, a day before already. So we'll see where it goes. But hopefully, Warner Brothers sees the success of this film. I mean, they've spent over 700, oh, about 700 million now on this film and just to see in total. That's a lot of money and I don't think they're going to get that back. But hopefully they see how, how hopefully they see how strong a fan base can be in driving sort of change and seeing what they want and seeing a director's true vision. So hopefully there is a future for the uh, Zack Snyder Justice League DCEU extended universe or whatever. Um, I'm hoping there is a future. I would like there to be a future because there's so much to see. I would like to see so much more. So yeah, that's just my quick thoughts on it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, uh, like, share, subscribe. If not, it's all good. But hopefully you stay tuned to the end of this video. Thank you so much, guys. I'm sorry for my issues in my talking. I've just got my retainer yesterday. And it's, yeah, annoying sometimes when I'm talking. But... Hopefully you guys enjoyed. As always, it's been your boy Ellie Moses. Stay tuned as well, guys. Tomorrow we're doing Cinema Showdown. The Zack Snyder's Justice League taking on the Weed and Cut. Um, we're going to have live debates and polls. So hopefully it's going to be an entertaining one. Drop in. Please drop in. As always, it's Ellie Moses. Take care. God bless. Peace.